Good afternoon everyone, this is Christy with Van On and Company. It's Thursday, September 15th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. Slightly lower trade in both corn and wheat, uh, but you were able to get a little bit of a pop from soybeans. Maybe starting off with this morning, they had a sales announcement here, and then actually when it came along to export sales, really soybeans the only one with some good ones. Wheat came in uh, mid-range, but it was a small amount, and then corn came in at the bottom end of the range, but uh, soybeans had a good uh, export sale here this morning, all the way at the top of the range, almost 1.2 million million metric tons for the week so there was some support there as well other than that very limited news you are starting to hear some yield reports and they are coming in strong here uh, actually hearing you know well into the 60s for bean yields for a lot of areas um, and then also on, on the corn side of things reports from Illinois Indiana uh, also some Iowa all in the 200s or above so having some big yields there moving in the meat market some slight support there as well uh, live cattle and feeder cattle just closing up just over a buck on the day as waiting to hear some cash trade. No cash trade really announced here today, so Friday, hopefully we get some as people are expecting it to come in just slightly above where we saw last week's trade, and maybe that might give some life to these uh, markets as they have bounced off some support levels and we'll need some news to push them any further to the top side. And then the hog market traded both sides of the market today as it's struggling to find some support even though you've pushed it into a technically oversold condition. Uh, you're just really struggling to get that buying into this market trading about 50 cents lower or higher throughout the day. Outside markets, big move into that Dow market, closing up almost five, 250 points there as some support is leaking through as well. Uh, other outside markets not doing a whole lot. I guess uh, actually you have treasury bonds a bit lower as people are starting to worry about a interest rate increase coming sooner than uh, December timeframe. So watching out for that as well. Uh, what's going to drive the markets here tomorrow is probably any yield announcements you get as, as harvest continues to push along and starts to work its way up through the heavier areas of the corn belt. I do have to close with a disclaimer, trading in futures and options of all risk loss may not be suitable for producers. Have a great day.